All right, so we finally made it. Color Coffee Roasters here in Eagle, and I'm standing with Jeremy and Charlie, and they're gonna bring us some great information. Charlie, you're actually the owner of this place, correct? That's right, yeah. It's really cute in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome in. We're happy to have you guys down here. We're excited to be here. So there's some races coming up. Let's touch base on those, and then we'll ask you a little bit about your running career. Yeah, so uh, this weekend's events in Eagle, um, we've got the Eagle Half Marathon with Endurance Race Series. Um, it'll start just a stone's throw away from here at the elementary school. Um, so come in here for a cup of coffee first and then uh, head over there for the start. Um, 10K and half marathon options, um, and just like everything in Eagle, you get on dirt right away. So from the school, it's about a tenth of a mile onto dirt. Um, so really fun race. Um, check out EnduranceRaceSeries.com for info and you know come sign up. And if you're looking for more running an eagle, um, Charlie has a running group that leaves right out of here. All right, I'm just going to step right here in the middle of you guys. So, Charlie, tell us a little bit about your running group. When do you guys meet? What, where are you running? Yeah, it's called Antelope Running Club. And we're, right now we're meeting every Monday night. Um, and we kind of do trail stuff this time of year. When it's a little, little colder and the trails are closed up, uh, up high, we do most of it down in town. But right now we're doing everything up in the, on the trails. And uh, you know, we're kind of known as a mountain bike town down here, but the trails are equally suited for trail running. I mean, you heard it here. So you can run this weekend in the Eagle 10K? 10K and half marathon. 10K and half marathon. Wow, those are some ambitious people. We've got more races coming up later this summer, too, with a 50K, if that's really what you're into. If you're going to do a 50K, I definitely recommend training with Antelope um, and getting in some, some good long runs before you do that. And a lot of coffee. <laughs> and a lot of coffee. Are you going to participate in either of the races coming up? Yeah, not this weekend. I'm going to be out in Aspen at Food Wine, but the uh, Mountain Rats race in September I'm definitely doing. Is that the 50K? Yep. Wow. That's, I mean, that's impressive that people can even run that far. I could like make it to the end of the street and I'd be like, okay, I'm winded. <laughs> All right, so you guys meet on Mondays? Yep, Monday nights at seven o'clock right now. Okay, PM. do you guys meet here? We do, and then we uh, meet at Color Coffee Roasters and then we uh, rendezvous back here after for beer, coffee, kombucha, whatever. All of the good stuff. All the good stuff. All right, Charlie, well, hopefully you guys have a good turnout this Monday. Yeah. People kind of come out and join you. Yeah. We want to touch base on what's happening, not this weekend, but the next weekend. Yeah, so after this weekend, um, we move into Flight Days. So Flight Days is our quintessential Eagle small town event. Um, we do a parade on Broadway, talent show, cute baby contest, pet show, um, all the things that you know make small town America what it is. Um, some of the really fun stuff that you can get involved in. Uh, you can sign up for a float in the parade. Um, you can do that online at eagleoutside.com. You can also um, build a push cart. So this is one of the cool wow. things we added last year. Um, the push cart rules are basically that you have to build a cart out of materials that won't fall apart. Um, and you push it down the street. So two people pushing, one person riding, head-to-head um, -head, uh, battles, and uh, winners take money. So we've got $600 on the line. 300 for first, 200 for second, 100 for fir third, um, and registration's free. Um, so we're able to do that because of our sponsor, Alpine Lumber. Um, so stop in there, check out what the push cart could be, get some materials, and um, this weekend is your opportunity to build. Um, so build that push cart and get ready to race it next week at Flight Days. I think people should be racing for each other's like pink slips to their carts. <laughs> <laughs> we could do some pink slip races, yeah. Um, I think some people want to just ditch their cards after the, the weekend anyway but um, some of the guys who raced last year with cards have been playing with it all all year um, and they're gonna just tune up their cart from last year um, so a ton of fun check out the videos online um, to get some inspiration um, and check out the full schedule for flight days we've got five or six bands um, you know free music there's carnival um, and again all the the fun stuff that make America you know small town America what it is well, thank you boys so much for this interview this morning. Come run with them on Monday, but also come get in on the push cart action next weekend. We're going to take it over to Eric with a trail report and see what kind of running he's going to be doing on that trail.